the world at war. Welcome to another ODM special report. I am Barry Biggins. After several false starts, attempts at diplomacy, and a variety of so-called patches, the world is at war once more. For analysis, over to Oscar Dimidge, our chief correspondent. Thank you very much, Barry. I am Oscar D. Minch. Starting off, we've had several uh, squadrons that are on both sides that have distinguished themselves on the field of battle. At the top of the leaderboard, as of this moment, we have Team Epic, whose motto is here to play war, World War Mode and ruin your day. Smiley face. We definitely appreciate the smiley face. Next up is Epic Team whose motto in Russian translates to, we go to first place. Thank you very much for joining us, and we uh, hope that the battles continue to go your way. And the third leader on the board is Reptilians of Nibiru. Their motto is, we are among you, which makes sense since we're all at war. That would make it so you're among us. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, there are players that have distinguished themselves on the field of battle. In particular, for the day, day seven of this World War, which has seen several fits and starts. Today, we have in the leaderboards these amazing players. Slade64 Gaming, Miscellaneous Boz, and Akula X. However, the ones that have been for the entire season are... These are the current leaders so far for the entire season are Mahet, Mr. Anka 2, and Miscellaneous Boz, who is also in the second place for the entire day so far. Understand, these numbers will be changing, but these we expect to see many of these names in the top at the end of the season. Hopefully this world war is over soon so that we can all return to our peacetime warfare. As far as my analysis of the various scenarios unfolding, we have the Russians rushing through Fulda Gap and are often trouncing the German defenders as they continue on their way. On the other end, we have the Egyptians and the Israelis going tooth and nail, defending and attacking over a stretch of a land called the Chinese Farm. Personal analysis. After playing a solid hour of World War mode the other day, and looking at how that resulted in my tasks coming through, it looks like you could possibly accomplish a STARS task in about three hours of steady play. Probably four for some of them, but it seemed like I was getting along those lines. So take on some steady play, stick it out for about three or four hours in the uh, two-day period. That's actually very doable for most players. Not for me right now, it's a little bit hectic with what I've got going on, but it looks like it's very doable. So it's a little late to get started, but if you've got a few golden eagles to jump in on the uh, uh, on this season, you might still be able to you'd be able to buy some of those previous days and jump in on it. It's all topsy turvy though because with the errors and the problems that we had early on, it's definitely. Um, going to be a challenge to keep track of everything going on if you're jumping in at this point you're not going to make any of the leaders you're not going to be a, a leaderboard person you're going to be uh doing it just for the tasks for those that have managed to stick it out and become the tops of the leaders leaderboards here good on you keep it up and that's everything from the front i am oscar d minch now back to you barry Thank you very much, and good night. This has been an ODM News Special Report. We now return you to your regularly scheduled programming.